What's up everyone? My name is Morgan Lee and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another Preptober video for you and today is a speed draw of how I create my own fantasy maps by hand. I've gathered my technique from many different sources online. There are a lot. If you are interested in drawing your own fantasy map, I suggest Googling it and I'll leave the links to a few videos and websites that I used when creating this fantasy map. This map is not a map of my current fantasy world. This was just a practice map that I decided to draw for this video and also to give myself a little bit more practice with drawing fantasy maps. As this drawing continues to go on, I'll just give you a little step-by-step -step to how I created this. So first step, of course, is to create your country or continent. So basically, I just squiggled an outline of a country, added some islands on the sides and the top and the bottom of them. In the resources that I have, they suggested throwing dice or marbles or something on the paper to kind of trace around and give your the locations of your land masses. I kind of just did it freehand so there you go. After drawing the basic continents I started with the mountains and the forests. So you'll see on my map that I have different types of tree icons I used the bush kind of method and then I also did like individual trees up at the top in that little northern continent up there. I did a few different types of trees toward the middle of my map and some a different type of tree on the far left side. So I'm just trying to see which style I like better. I suggest you look at different styles on the internet and see which one looks better on your map and which one you enjoy better. And then after I drew all of the trees and the rivers and the lakes and the mountains, I moved on to putting the cities and place names. After that, I named all of the mountain ranges, the lakes, the wastelands, the oceans, things like that. And for that, I just use the website Fantasy Name Generator it's a very handy website, so I suggest using that if you want to create random fantasy names. Once everything was finally named, as you can see here, I took my pen and traced over every pencil mark, first outlining the coastline and the shape of the continent. I did make a few mistakes when I went to add in the texture on the coastline. It was supposed to look like waves and instead I kind of re-outlined it so it kind of just looks a little weird. This is why we're practicing. Practicing makes perfect, right? Right. And then once everything was outlined, I erased all of my pencil marks I suggest using a large eraser instead of the eraser on top of your pencil because I ran this thing down to a nub. So if you're going to create your own map, please use a bigger eraser and probably a better pencil and a better pen than I did, but use what you have, of course.
So we're getting to the end of my map making. You'll see here that I'm just adding some finishing touches, trying to make it look more like water against the coastline. I was going to do the oceans like I did in my other fantasy map, but I decided not to, and this was a good place for me to stop. When I draw my map for my current fantasy book, after I finish drawing it, I'm going to use watercolors to color the land and the ocean so that when I print it in the book, it'll have a nice effect where you can see the different gradients of color so that the map will pop. This is the end of my map making video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you on Wednesday with another Preptober video. Bye bye